going, hands up. Knee and then a one, two guys, and sprawl. Knee, one, two. We're not fighting as we come up, we're working together, moving, and I'm gonna try and get an underhook, and just movement. And then again, shadow box. We're gonna keep going for three minutes. And sprawl. Clinch. Fight for it, guys, fight for it. Loads of movement. Come on, make an effort, fight for it. Go to the body, good, and then get out of there. Good work, good work. Concentrating on really putting the shots together. We're looking at extending the arms, we're looking at moving after the attack. We're looking basically to get the arms extended instead of throwing half shots. On fight night, if you start throwing half shots, now they're going to train, it'll be half shots pulling at the night time. So, what we're trying to do is get them extending their arms, getting used to being fully, fully ranged, find that range and getting confident with themselves there. Uh, I think it's the first time they've been putting weight groups. So, it's the first time they're looking around and actually looking, thinking, oh, that guy's in my group, that's who I might be facing from the uh, end of March. As soon as I put them in groups, it's big deep swallow, looking around, and now today is the first time that they, they should actually be seeking people out from that weight group and uh, imagine themselves facing them on uh, the end of March. I might not be great with my hands, but if I can threaten a takedown, and he's scared of my takedowns because I'm good at takedowns, all of a sudden he's got to worry about that. It brings a different dimension into it. Loads of feints, loads of feints, loads of feints. Keep him guessing, guys. Nice work, D. Nice work. That'll do, boys. Beautiful. Get your breath back. Composed. Nothing wrong with that. Hands up. Hands up. It's a lot different than first one. There's a lot more um, sparring, um, strikes to the face, to the body. It's just getting used to that. It's not natural to be smacked round the face. It's taught me that I have learned a lot, but there's a lot more I need to work on. My timing, my speed, and just getting the confidence to do the moves that they've showed us and believing in your training. I can't believe how well you're doing. You've come on so much, it's unbelievable. Try to just keep your hands up, chin down. It is going to be a fight. We can expect to be getting hit. And I think it's uh, the basics. Posture, keeping our back straight when we're shooting in. It'll all come together. So composure, composure. up, shoulders back, catch it like you would do the swing and big hip drive out, big hip drive out. We're only seven weeks out to the finale, so in terms of the conditioning we're stepping things up. As you can see in the background now, just warming up with uh, some shadow boxing. In terms of the last 16 weeks, the increase has been massive, the increase has been phenomenal. So they've gone from pretty much complete beginner. It's, uh, it's been a challenge for me and Phil on the conditioning side of things. So we have to teach them the exercises, build up that uh, endurance base, that muscular endurance, build up the cardiovascular base, uh, build up strength, explosive movement, building up power. And to look at them now, the complete change from where he was when he started. We've just made a big switch now over the last few weeks in the, in the way we're training the guys. So we've moved from focusing on the strength and mobility to more fight specific training, which is a little bit more interesting for them. I think it's a lot more exciting for us as well as coaches. It's going fantastic up to now. And the sky's the limit for some of these guys. I hope they keep at it afterwards as well. Training was good today, it's like um, every session we do, it's always interesting, there's always something to push the boundaries. I always say like, what do you want my body to be capable of? And this is just adds to my toolbox and I, I really enjoy it, I enjoy getting coached by State, some of the other coaches. Uh, we're into the final stages now, we're, we're talking fight night, we're starting to get prepped for that. Uh, the sparring's getting more intense, everything's coming on good. I can tell my fitness is improving massively. I'm uh, starting to lose a bit of weight now, progressively I'm losing the Losing a key, maybe two kilos a week. Good for me as a coach myself, like just to get trained by somebody else. And I think if you are a coach out there and you're feeling like, oh, I don't need any of this, then I'd advise you to just go and 
sign up for Winter Warrior and see what it's about. Who are you going to be fighting? Do you know? I, I'm not too sure. There's, there's a good chance. Where's Danny? Danny! There's a, there's a couple of people that, that are in a similar way, chat, way, way groups, but I personally, <laughs> between me and Danny, we think, we think we're going to be fighting each other. So. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't mind who I fight. Um, I think we've all been training as, as hard, uh, and then we'll all put the same performance in whoever it is yeah, the opposite side of the cage. Um, but yeah, I've got an easy night if I've got him. So. <laughs>